הבאנו שלום עליכם, הבאנו שלום, שלום, שלום עליכם. Ngoma <laughs> It is crucial. Um, I keep telling people that we're creating safe space. We want all people to feel included in, in what we call our human race. And we also want to save lives. There are people out there that are struggling, and, and uh, it, it's, it's time for us to do something. So thank you, Kesh. To build a Metro Detroit Safe Schools and Supportive Communities program that will transform Jewish life. Modest goal. <laughs> <laughs> so um, so those, are, those are our goals for this evening. What are some other Jewish source texts that might come to mind if we're thinking about being an ally, standing up for other people? Thank you. Could you say that a little louder, Wendy? <laughs> if I am not for myself, who will be for me? Right. Hillel's quote. Maybe it's saving someone's life. Maybe it's saving someone's life, for sure. And the reason that we structure this activity that way is because I've seen a lot of work that tries to transform, particularly youth, from being bystanders to allies. And we're always telling people to step up and do the right thing and say the right thing. And... But we never acknowledge that there are real risks which we all know. And so we structured this activity to give voice to both of those things. I have a real passion about becoming a qualified trainer because someday I want to be the person who trains the faculty. Yeah. We're building you know, a cohort of people around the country who go back into their own institutions and create change from within. Right. So on the outside, you would think, wow, that person's not an ally. But then when you think about it, like, they really did make a conscious choice. So I want to point to something that Lisa just said, right? Like, allies, because they're not part of the marginalized group, there's an element of what? Of um, power. Point to pro-LGBT text. In the moment when you're faced with hostile reactions, sometimes the best um, technique is for you to just sit back and breathe and see who in the audience um, sp speaks up. I am reluctant to respond because it might jeopardize my career whenever I say to these children. Mm. We also have to recognize that the word comfortable is not enough. Inclusion doesn't mean just making somebody comfortable. And it also doesn't mean we have some programs for you and some of not. Because would any of us be okay if they said, yeah, this program is going to be gay friendly, but this one, yeah, it can be a little homophobic, so you can go to the other one. <laughs> I'm Zoe Pinter. I go to the Frankel Jewish Academy, and I'm a senior. I'm Adina Applebaum. I go to the Frankel Jewish Academy, and I'm also a senior. 
and we just started our school's first Gay Straight Alliance. One of my closest friends came out to me this summer, and I felt that it was my responsibility, my a perfect opportunity to make my school a safe place for kids, just like my good friend, who didn't feel comfortable for the longest time. Now they can feel comfortable also.